Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decisions. I'm very excited today to talk about the only way I know how to beat the stock market, uh, the only way that I trust, um, and that is known as value averaging. This is a book by Michael Edison. Edelson. It's called Value Averaging. This is what introduces the investment technique. Um, what is value averaging? Basically, um, <clears throat> the formula sets you on a value path to um, say at X month, I need to have this amount of money in my account. And based on whether the stock market performs well or performs poorly, the amount that you put in in order to get to that amount will vary. You might in a bad month, you're going to have to um, put more money into the into the investment account to get to the value path. However, if the market is very good, you're going to um, only put in a very little amount or maybe even sell a little bit because you're over the value path. And, uh, you know, what I do is I play the Vanguard total stock at mark total stock market index fund VTI off and do value averaging on that. And that will guarantee me to beat the stock market. You know, I'm playing the stock market and how am I gonna beat the stock market? I'm gonna beat it just bit by the way that I'm buying and selling. I'm buying more when it's low and I'm buying far less when it's high. And that's the big differentiator that will make you uh, beat the, the stock market. It's all a matter of um, buying low and selling high, or in this case, buying more low and buying less high. Um, you know, that's the philosophy to win in investing, you know, buy low, sell high. But it's impossible to do. Um, I'm a software engineer. I am, you know, I think a lot of people don't understand how smart these financial algorithms are that will. Um, uh, will uh, account for every single human mistake that gets made across every single human who's investing in the stock market. Every time they make a transaction, um, these algorithms know whether it's something they need to jump on or not as far as to, to take that um, at that price. And, uh, you know, everything in this world about that affects the stock market is already ingrained in these algorithms. They're that smart. And you don't want to play against those algorithms. You'll lose. So uh, just invest in the total stock market. That's it. And and don't 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 invest in anything else uh, because that way you're not playing uh, against these algorithms. You're just kind of uh, on the sidelines, just rolling with every punch. You know, you're not you're not selling at all. So um, you know, make sure that, you know, when you, when you invest in the stock market, you're investing in index funds, but, uh, let me share my screen. I'll show you what this formula looks like, the way this value averaging goes, that'll help me explain it better. All right. So this is, um, Michael Edison's value averaging technique. Um, this formula came from his book and I just, uh, copied it. Um, you know, looking at, this graph right here, um, this is the value path. So what's the goal? I'm trying to make $50,000 in uh, five years. That's the goal. Um, so investment goal, 50,000. What's the value of the account at the start? Just a hundred bucks. How many periods or months? 60, so that's five years. And then these two equations just control the trajectory of it. Um, and, uh, you know, I just kind of went with the basic of what um, Edelson told to do. And it turns into this value path. And in orange is what I have before um, that month. And looking at this formula, so here's my value path. This is what I always have to have at the end of the month. This is what I actually have. And then this is what I have to add. Um, 
in order to get to the value path amount. And you see how it's varied. Uh, you know, one month I had to put in 927. Another month I got to sell $30. So um, when the stock market is performing really high, I'm not really buying because it's too high to buy. Um, and then when the stock market is doing bad, um, I'm under, way under the value path, and I have to put in more than what I was expected to. So I'm buying more when it's low. And that's inherently how I beat the stock market. You know, that's, I think, the only way to, proven way to beat the stock market for the average investor. Because um, if you're going to active trade, then you're just going up against those algorithms. And I guarantee you, you're going to lose. So just don't even do it. Here's a plot that shows the expected ad versus the actual ad. So the expected ad in orange, you see how it slowly increases. Um, that's because there's more money in the account. So it's expected to make more money. So every month it slowly adds. But in blue, you see the actual ad and you see how it's very volatile. So in order to do value averaging, you do have to have a nice savings account so that when the time comes and the stock market does bad and you got to put a lot of money into this account, you have the funds to do so. Um, you know, in the beginning, it's not too crazy. Like the most I had to put in was 927. But when it comes time where this is like in four years and there's a lot of money in the account, like 40,000, then it's going to go crazy the the amount of, I have to add or not add in a month. I might have to add maybe three, four grand in a month um, because the stock market did bad. So that's what you got to keep in mind with value averaging. You got you to have the funds in order to fulfill what uh, the formula is telling you to do. And the further you go, the, f the more volatility it's going to be and the more money you might have to put in in a given month. So. But yeah, this is the only proven way to beat the stock market for the average investor. You're not playing up against the algorithms. You're just, you know, for me, I'm just investing in VTI. I choose just, just go for one stock when you do this value averaging thing. Don't worry about asset allocation. Um, so VTI, throw it in VTI and, uh, and, and just play this formula. And you'll see, you know, the stock market will maybe perform 10% over these five years. But thanks to value averaging, I'm getting um, about maybe 11 and a half percent. I'm getting a significant percentage or two above the average simply because I'm buying more low and I'm buying less or even selling when it's high. So, uh, yeah, um, you know, if you want to learn this formula, just just buy the book by Michael Edelson, Value Averaging. Um, or you can reach out to me. I mean, he has the formulas step by step, just how to do it. Um, you, know, you see the formulas right here. And then the value path has its formula. You know, this is this is an awesome technique. This is the only way that I'm gonna try to beat the stock market, you know, just by by this technique. No other way, because any other way you're going up against the algorithms and you're gonna lose. Big time. You're going against the professionals. I'm not a professional. I'm just an average investor. What do I know? Anything I read is uh, is bad news. It's it's something that a thousand people have already read and have already um, made a move on. So I'm already late to the party, and I'm going to lose. Um, so you know, no information you read is is relevant. It, it doesn't matter. It's already too late. Um, you know, don't don't be an active investor. Uh, don't invest in active funds. Um, you know, play the index funds where it's rock bottom expenses. Go for the market average with the lowest expenses, and then give it do it for 20, 30 years. And by the time that time frame is through, you're going to be in the lead over everyone else because everybody else is going to be underperforming. Because that's the when you do active investing. I mean you're probably going to get well below average just because you don't know what you're doing. But let's say you just get average, you know, that's the average. Uh, you're still going to have to pay that 3%, 4% in expenses. And then that makes you 4% under average. And 
you're well under, you know, somebody who just plays index funds. So that's how the average returns always equates to the best performance over a 20, 30 year time frame. Everybody else is um, underperforming. That's the that's the true case because anyone who's an active trader just doesn't know what they're doing. They're and they're going up against algorithms, and every bad decision that they make gets capitalized by those algorithms. Um, and you know, in order to be on the side with those algorithms, you have to have a lot of money. You have to have hundreds of millions of dollars in order to be with the big boys. And if you just have only a hundred thousand dollars, you're nobody. Um, so, um, you know, you can't find the really good, um, investors to, to, um, help you. If you do seek help, you're just going to find a shark, somebody who's a broker, somebody who's going to put you in these terrible funds that underperform and have crazy expenses that just go into their pockets. That's just how they make their money. They're, they're scum. All of them, um, you know, don't, you can't, you can't get help in the financial industry because everybody is like a used car salesman, just a scumbag out for your money. They want to just take their money and put it in their pocket. So, um, you know, you got to do it yourself. So, you know, read, there's a lot of books. There's a whole cult of, of authors that talk about my philosophy of investing, you know, William Bernstein, Jack Bogle, Richard Ferry, um, uh, David Swenson, um, Benjamin Graham, um, Burton Malkiel, um, uh, winners, Michael, Richard Ellis, um, just, you know, tons of authors that really kind of jumped on the Jack Bogle bandwagon and say, Hey, just invest in the, in the, in the index funds. Um, just invest in the, in the market and don't do anything else. Um, so, um, I hope you like this video. I hope it really shines light on, um, investing and really what you're up against um like i said and you can't you can't trust anybody in this industry um you know you probably should be skeptical of me you know because you don't know me but i'm not gonna ever ask um anybody to really do anything just listen to me um um you know i i do want to make money but uh the way i want to make money is just by time so you know put me on a call for an hour and I will uh, execute and just tell you what to do with your financial um, investments um, just to do what I did if you if you want to uh, jump on my bandwagon. Um, so I won't be touching your money. You know, you're not I'm not getting any piece of your money. Um, I would just be getting paid for time. You know, the time we spend together is that's it. Uh, I don't want I don't want to really manage anybody's money. I don't believe in that. I think everybody needs to manage it themselves. So if you seek help from me, it's just going to, I'll just tell you, um, you know, how to execute it on, on your investment accounts, you know, whatever website you have, I pretty much know them all. And I can help steer you, tell you what to buy, tell you what plan to get on, um, if you need help. But, um, you know, never seek a financial advisor, somebody who you give their money, you give them their money and then they put it into investment accounts and trade with it. Um, that money is just going to get used and abused and, um, you're so much better off doing it yourself. So, um, you know, people on the Jack Bogle bandwagon are all that way. They're known as Bogle heads. It's a huge community. Um, they sometimes meet, I'd love to go to such an event. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of good help out there. JL Collins, he's same boat. So, um, you know, I hope, I hope this helps and I hope you have a good day. Take care.